Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation 2 to the a plus 2 to the a equal to 12 and we need to solve this question for a so if you have your solution, your answer, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check your answers. So a lot of students might be thinking okay let's start for example with the, with the inspection method. Let's check for example for a equal to for example let's go with with one what will happen so we have two to the power one plus two to the power one equal to 12 and we we need to we need to solve it so we have two plus two equal to four so it's not equal to 12 so a equal to one is not is not a root second case for example for a equal to two let's see what will happen when a equal to two what do we have we have two to the power two plus 2 to the power 2 and obviously this is not equal to 12 because we have 4 plus 4 this is equal to equal to 8 and if you look closely our our last hope because we are getting closer and closer to 12 right here we have 4 right here we have 8 what do we have right here so we have 4 a is equal to a is equal to 3 so we have 2 cube plus 2 cube is equal to 12 let's see what will happen so we have 8 plus 8 is not equal to 12 so our inspection method it's not a good method in this case so right now let's try to solve this question correctly and with with a solution because inspection this is not a, a method this is like a check yeah so we need to check a route so we find out which one is is a, is a grade by inspection and then we we check it right now let's let's think a little bit about um about a solution so a solution uh, to this uh, to this equation. First of all, we have our equation. So I'm, I'm gonna rewrite it. So we have two to the power a plus two to the power a equal to equal to twelve. Right now, two to the power a plus two to the power a. If we add it, so we have two times two to the power a. Yeah. So we have two times two to the power a. And a lot of students might be asking because how can we add it? If if two to the power a, for example, is x, then we add to this x one more x. So we have we have right here. 2x. So I hope you understand it. Why this is equal to 2 times uh, 2 to the power x equal to equal to 12. Okay. Right now we can divide both sides by by 2. Yes, yeah, so we divide both sides by 2. From here, what do we have? We have 2 to the power a is equal to is equal to 6. Okay. So 2 to the power a is equal to 6. And how can we find uh, uh, from here? How can we find our how can we find our a? First of all, I'm on, I'm going to continue right here because I don't have enough space. I'm going to continue right here on the on the left side. So 2 to the power a equal to 6. First of all, I want to I want to apply log on both sides. So we have what we have log 2 to the power a equal to log log 6. Okay, right now, according to a basic log property, this a will come down right here. Okay, so as a result, we have a times log 2, a log 2, equal to log 6. Okay, equal to log equal to log 6. Right now, we're going to divide both sides by, by this log 2 from here, and as a result, we will have our, our a. So a equal to log 6. We're going to divide it by log log 2. Right now, few manipulations. Of course, this is looks like our final answer because we have a constant in numerator, constant in denominator, but we can easily express our 6 as 2 times 3. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's continue right here on the, on the bottom. So we have a equal to, we have log 2 times 3, yeah, 2 times 3 log 2 times 3 and we're going to divide it by log 2 and right now uh, why we express this 6 as 2 times 3 because there is a great property when we have a log of a product you can express it as a sum of two logs okay we can express this as a equal to so we have log 2 plus log 3 plus log log 3 and we divide it by by log 2 Okay, we're going to divide it by log 2. Right now, we can divide our numerator by this log 2. So we can split it. Yeah, we can write it as a equal to log 2 over log 2. Yeah, over log 2. And plus log 3 over log log 2. Log 2. And of course, right here we have 1. So it looks like our answer is like that. So we have a equal to. So right here we can easily cancel it. So right here at this point we have 1 plus log 3, log 3 over, over log log 2. And right now maybe you are interested in approximately answers. So from here our a, so a approximately equal to 2.58. 
2.58. So this is our answer uh, answer to this question. A equal to 2.58. So let's write our final answer. But before writing a final answer, I want to solve another branch because a lot of students mm, might be asking about a complex root. Okay, so uh, just for that, I split my solution by two parts. So this is our left part. This is our, I'm going to write this R right here. So this is our real part. On the right side, right here at this, at this place, I want to solve this question in terms of like complex root. Okay, so right here on the on the right side i want to solve this question in terms of in terms of complex root so we have 2 to the power a uh, 2 to the power a equal to equal to 6 so how can we express this 2 to the power a so 2 to the power a is equal to we can express that as e to the power natural log of 2 to the power a okay or this a we can write right here at this place so as a result our 2 to the power a is equal to e to the power a natural log natural log 2 okay this is our left side. This six, how can we write it? In terms of like uh, our complex identity, we can we can use it. Okay, so six can be written as six times e to the power i times zero. This is our mm, this is our uh, popular identity, or we can rewrite it as six times e to the power i times two to k pi. And of course, we are talking about k. Uh, k uh, from z okay we're talking about k from z so right now this six on the right side let's let's uh, change by by this expression by this one and this two to the power a let's change by by this expression so we have um, instead of two to the a we have this expression so we have e to the power a nature log two this our instead of two to the power a and instead of six we're gonna write this expression six times e to the power i times two k pi so we have six times e to the power i times 2 to k pi. How can we solve this? How can we solve this equation? Equation, sorry. Yeah, right now let's apply log on both sides. Let's apply, for example, natural log. We have natural log of e to the power a times natural log 2 equal to natural log of 6. Uh, from here we have a product, yeah? 6 times e to the power i times 2 uh, 2k pi. Okay, right now, uh, according to a uh, log, uh, log property, we can easily write this a times natural log 2 in front of this expression. So as a result, we have only this, only a times natural log 2, because natural log e equal to 1. So on the left side, we have only a times natural log 2 equal to, right here, as I said before, uh, we had it uh, on the left side. Yeah, we have a log of a product, and right here we have a log of a product. So we can write it as a sum of two logs. So we have natural log 6 plus natural log of e times i to k i to k pi. Right now, the same thing as we had before, so we need to write this a, e to the power e times 2k pi in front of this natural log e, then we, we're going to cancel this natural log e because uh, this natural log e equal to 1. So on the left side, we have a times natural log 2. On the right side, we have natural log 6 plus, right here we have i times 2k pi, so i 2k, uh, i 2k pi. Okay, and the final thing, of course, we need to find our a, so we need to divide both sides by natural log 2. So we have natural log 6 plus i times 2k pi, i times 2k pi, and we're going to divide it by natural log 2, natural log 2. And there's like, mm, we can write it in, in different ways, so we can write this as a sum of natural log 2 plus natural log 3. This is up to you, how, many, how do you prefer? So in this question, we can write it as natural log 2 plus natural log 3, plus this expression, and we divide it by 2. This is up to you. And of course, we can underline this as a, as a complex root to our question. So we have two roots, the first one, real number root, and of course, in terms of complex numbers, we can consider this one with this one as a root, as a root to this question. So let's write our final answer to this question. So right here on the, let's go with the with the left side for example. So our answer, our answer to this question. So first of all, our a first. If we're talking about real numbers, this one. So equal to, of course, this is a root log 6 over log, uh, log 2, but if you're talking about a full answer with, with the simplification steps, this one is, is also great because we simplified it, okay? So we have 1 plus log 3 over log over log 2. This is our real number, real number root. This is our first real number root. I'm going to write over here our r. So this is real number, real number root. Second root is a complex one, so a second equal to this one. So nature log 6 plus i 2k pi over natural log, natural log 2. This one 
it's a complex root because we have our imaginary unit. Okay, we have root here of i, so it means it implies that this is our um, this is our complex root. And this is my solution to this question. Here we have real number root. You can also you can also check it. And uh, of course, if you need a quick proof, we have 2.58. And if you look closely in the beginning, I had a quick inspection step. So right here we we inspected it. At this point, when a equal to 2, we had, what do we have? We have 4 plus 4, we have 8 at this point. Yeah, we have right here 8 as a thumb, not 12. But when a equal to 3, we have 8 plus 8, we have 16, yeah? So it means, but in our question, we have 12. So our 12 is between 8 and 16. So if you're talking about a root, our root is between 2 and 3. Okay, this is like a quick life hack. I really hope you, you understand it. If you, if you solve this question by inspection, if you try to check a root step by step like one two three then you can you can understand of course left or right side you can easily understand where where does your root okay where we need to write our root because in this place we have uh, between 8 and 16 and in and on the left side we have a equal to 2 a equal to 0 so it means that our root is right here at this point between these values so it is like a quick quick a quick trick okay and this is my solution to this question R uh, real number root on the left side and of course a complex root we have on the right side and uh, our answer to this question so thank you everyone for watching write your question write your response in the comments below what do you think about this question uh, write your thoughts what do you think about it it's also it's also really interesting to exchange um, information it's also really interesting to see th th this question to see th a solution from different angle and of course if you have your assumption your solution you can write a solution in the comments below so thank you for your time of course right here i'm going to underline that this is equal to 2.58 because a lot of students are interested in the approximately answer and this is this is great like to see this question from different different perspective so this is my solution to the question thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos